When I wake up, I have to avoid sitting on my bed. So I make my bed in the morning, and I can't touch it afterwards. In the back of my head, I tell myself that I'll just sit for five minutes. But five turns to ten, and ten to twenty. And eventually, you fall asleep and you waste your morning. So I talk myself out of it. Then I go to the kitchen and I make a fruit smoothie. I use oats, one banana, two raw eggs, frozen strawberries, and almond milk. And I blend it. I have breakfast standing up. I don't usually drink it immediately. I usually lean on the counter to try to wake up and talk myself out of sitting down. And if I stay standing, then I win for the day. When I drink my smoothie, I listen to a Mike Tyson interview. There's this line he says, "I want it to be the best so bad," and I think about it every day. It reminds me that there's two people inside of me. There's the person who wants comfort, and the one who doesn't. And I want to be the second one so bad. So in the mornings, I have to pick which one I want to be. So I don't sit down in the morning because I want the discomfort. After breakfast, I go to the gym. When I get back, I have a protein shake with two scoops. Today was chest day. Now I'm off to shower. This is the most important part of my day. I always shower in the dark. It's the closest I can get to sensory deprivation. And when I shower, I play that same Mike Tyson interview, and I'll recite it sometimes. I know most of the words by now. Tyson's trainer used to hypnotize him. He made him believe that he was a sophisticated animal. He would tell him that only boxing existed. That's how I want to look at physics. So I shower in the dark and I listen to Tyson. I'm hoping that maybe I can develop that mentality too. I doubt it's healthy. Then again, I don't want it to be.